$30 versus $300. Yes, they both have paddles. Hold on. So the plan is to get the most expensive scuff controller possible. And I think I'm gonna get the scuff impact just because I, I don't know, I don't really want a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller. I feel like the impact is just the best one. And you know, of course we're gonna go with the sore gaming scuff controller. Obviously I'm in sword. And the EMR is used to like remap the triggers on the back. So we're definitely gonna get that. And the next option is the trigger systems. Digital tap triggers are way faster than normal triggers. Digital tap triggers are pretty much like a mouse click. Like right when you click, it responds. So it's super fast. Digital tap triggers is what you want when you get a scuff for sure. Digital tap bumper is same thing. It's like a mouse click, super fast reaction time. I usually go for the concave, but you know, I want the white ones of course. They just look way nicer. For both the left and the right, I go concave cave short white just because that's my personal preference and i could get this little white thing a control disc but i like the standard you know military grade or high performance the military grade looks a lot cooler so i'm gonna do military grade uh no vibration i don't like vibration and total comes out to almost 300 dollars for a controller that's insane so this right here is the exact specs of the scuff controller that i am getting i'm actually super excited to get this i'm i'm really happy about this all right boys so this is what i decided on for the cheap gaming controller it has paddles in the back sort of like a scuff it's got two paddles in the back wait four paddles i think you can go up and down on either side and that's that's four different clicks that's four paddles on the back it's wireless and it lights up already a little a little point right there it lights up i don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and buy this controller and we'll wait for this to come in as well it looks like our scuff is here empty <laughs> honestly right away the packaging looks really nice it has like a nice reflection to it which i really like so opening it up you have your nice little embossed logo right there it looks super nice super clean okay so moment of truth if this is what i think it is oh okay <laughs> the manual of course and boom there it is let's go that's so nice this looks way better than i thought it would one thing i noticed right away is that it's super light i did not expect it to be that light and the build quality just feels insane bro and i opted for the digital tap triggers so if you can't tell i am clicking right now but there's literally such little travel it's like an instant click it's insane and also since it is a scuff impact it does have four paddles in the back another thing that i want to point out is that the analog sticks are so smooth and soft like i know i'm gonna be able to play on this thing for hours wow this is so nice looks like our cheap controller is here okay so this is our budget option this is the 30 dollars wireless gaming controller this is supposed to be our scuff knockoff as you guys can tell it does have i think chinese writing on there i'm sure made in china of course i'm not exactly sure i don't read chinese let's let's just unbox it i don't know and this unboxing process isn't that great yeah this controller isn't even branded actually i mean what else can you expect right so you get your user manual get that out of the way this is the box it comes in i'm guessing this is the charging cable of course and it's got USB-C. okay all right okay opening up the package now and this is what it comes in all right i guess pretty protected and there's the controller so yeah obviously no like customization it just comes in all black so just like advertised it has paddles one two three four compared to the scuff look how much travel there is right there the scuff was like literally a click this is like a whole this is sort of like a normal controller where it has like all that travel it's sort of the same thing in hand though it feels pretty all right i'm not gonna lie this looks like it might be some sort of grip but it's really just plastic honestly i could compare it to like a normal xbox controller the weight and the feel of this like knockoff scuff is very similar to like a normal xbox controller the thumbsticks are a little bit harder though i feel like my thumbs is gonna get like bruised after a while i don't know we'll see i'm definitely gonna use both controllers for at least a couple hours so i'll be able to give you guys a good review on this so so in order to get the $30 controller to work, you need to plug this into your PC. So hopefully I don't have any issues there. So with all that being said, 
we're gonna put these controllers to the test. I actually have high hopes for the budget controller, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna start with the scuff just because it's sort of gonna be like a benchmark. So we're gonna see if this $30 controller can keep up with my $300 scuff. And now it's time to put them to the test. And just in case you guys are wondering, it's plugged in because it's charging. This controller feels really good already, I'm not gonna lie. Just here in the hub, like it feels really good. All right, so here we are, no stick drift or nothing. So that's good, no stick drift, that's always a good thing you want to make sure there's no stick drift i've already mapped these to how i want it which is really nice i like how you can remap the buttons on the back i'm hoping the budget controller can do that as well but i really like that i can remap this to whatever i want so this is a or jump this is y and this one is down on the right joystick so that's that's the same as this so that's what i have that mapped to and then this one over here is to get into build mode and exit build mode so really i should never have to put my fingers here unless i have to reload which is fine. And all the buttons here are my building buttons, so I should have no problem there. And since they are digital tap, I should be able to build like instant, so which is really nice. So yeah, see here. I got 90s on lock already, boys. Look at that. I love paddles, bro. It's like minimal effort to build, bro. It feels so good. I love the digital tap trigger so much. Look at that. Look at that side jump. So if we zoom in on the trigger here, it's literally instant. I barely tap the trigger and it shoots. It's so good. So building is so fast. It's ridiculous. So again, let me just show you guys how sensitive these triggers are. Look, okay, I'm gonna get real close to this camera. Look, the, the second I, I touch it, it builds. It's insane. The possibilities with this controller is crazy. Look at that. It's insane. I, I barely have to touch it. So the thing with this is that if I practiced enough, I could get like insanely good on controller. Like, look at that. The side jumps with the paddles are so nice and the building is so quick. So of course this controller is going to have super good movement. Look at that. Super smooth movement. Super smooth movement. Beautiful. I'm really hoping that the other controller can do that because that's like super basic and any controller should be able to do that. So I think that's really it. Like the reaction time on this controller is really good. There's like no delay at all. The triggers are instant. I'm going to switch to the cheap controller because I'm getting a little bit too excited with this. I'm like way too into this controller. <laughs> So now it's time to use our budget controller. Remember, this controller was $30 versus this controller, which is about $280 after shipping and taxes. I really hope this controller does well. So in order to get it connected, you need this little USB receiver. And all you do is plug that directly into your PC. And does it work? Okay, it doesn't work yet. How do I... Oh, okay. Oh, there. Okay, I just turned it on. I just clicked the home button, which I'm guessing is the power button. That was actually way easier than I thought it would be. Okay, in hand, after holding the scuff controller, this controller feels a little bit smaller. So if you have big hands, that's already a minus for this controller. All right, so first, we're going to do the thumbstick test. So the thumbstick isn't as smooth when I'm moving it. It's, it's a little bit like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm pretty sure you guys can see, like it's like it's not smooth. It kind of moves in increments, it, but it's not the worst. Like it's not bad. So you, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm like, it's like audible. Like you can hear the clicks. I looked at the manual and I looked in the box and stuff. These triggers are not remappable. So I guess whatever it is, you just kind of have to get used to it. So A, B, X, Y. Um, ew, ew. Ew, 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 ew. Look how long it takes for me to place a stair. I'm pushing, 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 and there it is. About halfway through. These buttons are not in a good place. I keep accidentally clicking these two buttons on the sides. Ooh, look at us. Ooh, we're kind of nuts, boys. All right, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Obviously, there's a huge problem with the triggers. This will never be able to compete with this. I am in love with these triggers, like actually. I'm really trying to give this one credit because it, it, it is only $30. So for what it is, 30 bucks, it's not too bad. But I'm completely in love with everything about the scuff. The triggers, the thumbsticks everything it's a night and day difference like actually the buttons are way easier and lighter to press than these ones also a lot less loud these ones are really loud for some reason just talking about how good the scuff is is making me realize how much i hate this cheap controller i am completely sold on scuff this just does not compare i'm sorry that's the full review that's the broke versus pro there will be a link to buy both of these controllers in the description box below if you guys are interested and also go follow my twitter and my twitch down below and i might just give this controller 
roller away on stream. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like the video if you haven't already, and peace.